I'm the much younger sister of Elena and Jeremy's deceased mother and suddenly have the responsibility of taking care of them. Uh, so my character, Jenna, is essentially sort of growing up and becoming responsible for the first time in her life as well. So it's a journey they're on together. <laughs> approximately eight years, approximately. So, so yeah, that's, that's very close. I mean, she literally went from being the, just the older, you know, cool sort of friend that you can tell your secrets to, to the parental figure. <laughs> so that's kind of a weird transition to make, which is great. That's great in the script. It, it allows for a lot of neat little journeys, so. Well, thus far, Jenna has no idea there are vampires traipsing around the, the town. Um, but Jenna is still very involved just in the fact that Elena, there's a new boy in her life and just what that feels like. Jenna is still going through it herself, you know, so she really understands. Um, so it's more on that level, just of what it's like to be in high school and to sort of be falling head over heels for this new guy in town. She understands that. And I think that's sort of a special thing that Jenna and Elena have, that they can communicate on that level. Um, definitely, Jenna has been more of a parental guide for Jeremy thus far in the series because he's sort of been getting in trouble a little bit. And he's the one she's had to be, be really tough on so far. Jenna is doing her master's. She's working on her thesis. Um, so she still has that going on, which is a, a very important part of her life. Um, at the same time, trying to guide these two teenagers. They're, you know, they've just gone back to school and there's lots of stuff coming up in their lives that she still have, has to be very aware of while still dealing with her life. Um, and keeping her, she's still in school, keeping that on track. Um, and all of a sudden, there's an ex-boyfriend in the picture who is sort of edging in the door. So that just throws another wrench into the whole situation at home. She's got a lot going on. <laughs> we, we all hang out all the time, and I'm actually, I'm actually younger than some of the people <laughs> playing high school. So, so it's, it's totally, it is weird. And I, I think it's just kind of reaching into that part of myself that grew up quickly, you know, the, but also what's great about Jenna is that she is really still a teenager at heart sometimes and she has to put herself in check a lot of the time. It's not just, you know, making sure these kids are in line. She also has to sort of right and what am I doing at this moment am I am I doing the right thing am I doing what's right for myself and for for my niece and nephew so I think that helps me connect to her too it's just that she's doing a lot of growing up herself uh, in the months since her sister was killed <laughs>